morning Holy Spirit for helping us to escape the fire and storms of life we give you all the glory we give you all the honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord Amen the Apostle John in Revelation chapter 3, 10, declared, Because you have kept my command to persevere, I also will keep you from the hour of trial, which shall come upon the whole world. Beloved, I was watching the news recently, and to my surprise, an offshore oil platform in the North Sea caught fire. And as flames swept over the rig, workers thought they were doomed. Just in the nick of time, however, a fleet of Scottish helicopters appeared. And all 130 workers were rescued. We usually thank God for the blessings He gives. But we should also praise Him for the skips He provides. Think, for example, the period of great tribulation. If we, if as we believe, the church of the Lord Jesus will be raptured proud to the time of God's wrath, why should we study those chapters such as Revelation chapter 6 all the way through to chapter 18? that describe tribulation events. Beloved, they show us how thankful we should be for what we are missing. I believe that this morning, by God's grace, We are experiencing the faithfulness of God because they are new every morning. And today is not an exception. Therefore, today, 
Thank the Lord for his oversight. Thank the Lord for his protection. And even for the blessings of unanswered prayer. As Christians, we should be thankful for what God has given us by his grace. And also for what he withholds by his mercy. As someone has said, you ought to be thankful to God that he has not yet recompensed you, that he has not dealt with you after your sins, nor rewarded you according to your iniquities. Behold, I made all things new, says Jesus. And then he makes his people into sons and daughters. Isn't that amazing? May the good Lord strengthen you. And may you be blessed as you celebrate the goodness of God today. Bye for now. <laughs>